Hi traders, welcome to my Forex video tutorial. In this tutorial today, we shall be going through this Forex RSI indicator and I'm going to show you how exactly you can use this Forex RSI indicator effectively in your trading. Okay, so let's go through the next slide. So what exactly is RSI? Okay, this is the RSI indicator is actually also known as the Relative Strength Index. From the name itself, right, it actually tells you that this indicator can tell you the strength of the market and therefore it's actually a momentum indicator. So what does a momentum indicator do? It actually is used to measure whether the market is currently overbought or oversold. Because there will be time right, when a lot of people are getting into the trend and keep on buying, let's say for example you have an uptrend, people keep on buying, 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 there will be a point whereby it's overbought. And the, the price will tend to relieve the pressure by doing a correction before the next up move. And therefore using this RSI indicator, we are able to tell whether the market is currently overbought or oversold. Okay, so this is one good thing about the RSI indicator. So next we have to go through how exactly we read the RSI indicator. And therefore this is very important. And you need to know that the RSI indicator, right, has an overall magnitude of 0 to 100. Okay, it's from 0 goes to all the way to 100. And there's a 30 line and a 70 line. Okay, as long as it's less than 30, it means that the market is oversold. Okay, if it's more than 70, it actually tells you that the market is overbought. However, as a trader, we do not trade simply based on this overbought oversold sign. Okay, it doesn't mean that being overbought or oversold, the price will not move further. Therefore, you need to have a good and effective way, right, of using this RSI. Okay, so that it is effective to your trading. And this is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video tutorial today. So, how do we use this RSI indicator effectively? And therefore, I'm going to show you two ways that you can use to uh, this RSI effectively in your trading so that you can make money from it. So, first, you can use this RSI indicator as an entry indicator. You could also use this as a divergent indicator. And I shall go through in detail uh, each of this so that you have a better understanding how it works. So, let's go through the next slide. Okay, so first, we, uh, this is how you use the RSI indicator as an entry indicator. That's two strategy. Okay, you can use it in a range strategy whereby the price is ranging. It's moving in a sideway manner. Can you see that? It's moving up, down, up, down in a sideway manner. Okay, or number two, you can use it in a trending market. Like this picture here. Okay, it's actually trending upwards, upwards and upwards. So, how do we use it in two different strategy? And now I'm going to show you how it works. So let's say that you're in a range strategy. And can you see that I, I actually draw two lines. There's two black lines here. And this is actually a trend channel. Okay, and it's a sign that the price is moving sideways or in consolidation. And this is the best time to use the RSI indicator. When the market is ranging, the RSI indicator works best. Okay, so you see here. But when the price, right, hit the resistance, can you see this, this trend channel, the resistance, this is support. When it hits the resistance, and can you see that at the same time, the RSI shows sign of overbought, you can enter a short trade and here you go. See, you make profit from here. Is any good? Okay, then as it hits the support line, you can see that it's going oversold. Okay, and you enter a trade. You can see it makes some profit here. Okay, as it goes down, you can see again, it's oversold. You enter a trade and make a profit here again. Okay, and therefore, this is how it works. You see, sell, sell, buy, sell. And you can see how many times you're making profit from this movement. And it works especially well in the range, ranging market. Okay, this is how you use a RSI indicator in a range strategy. And next, we shall go through what if you are in a trending market. Okay, and this is how you use the RSI indicator. Same here. This is what we call the buy the dips and sell the rally. So when you're in uptrend, right? What we are doing, right? As a trader, we are always looking for opportunity to buy the dips. So can you see here? The price show a dips here. RSI go oversold okay so do not enter straight away wait for the RSI to curve up enter a trade this is what you get okay as you move down again you can see it's oversold again wait for the curve up again enter a trade this is how much you make again however can you see the third time you move down it did not hit the oversold therefore we are not going to enter any trade Okay, and I actually highlight here. The reason why I missed the third trade is because the stochastic did not go below the 50 mark and curve up. 
So although this make me miss a chance to making profit, the success of a trader lies in his ability to stick to plan. You have to remember that as a trader, you have to always stick to the plan. So after this, we shall go through how you are going to use this RSI indicator as a divergent indicator. Okay. In fact, the uh, besides most people are very uh, familiar with MACD divergent. In fact, right, there's more to divergent than just MACD indicator. It actually works on stochastic indicator. It works on the RSI indicator, and therefore in this tutorial I shall go through with you how you make use of this uh, divergence in the RSI indicator. So how it works is this. You can see that the RSI indicator right is actually making a lower high. You can see that this high is higher than this high. The new high is actually lower than the old high. However the price is making a higher high. You can see this is a diversion and we call this a negative diversion. As long as the price make higher high but stochastic the RSI indicator right is making a lower high this is a negative divergent and it is a sign that the price will reverse and therefore based on this you could actually enter a short trade here and true enough you can see how much the price actually collapsed and this is actually how a divergent works and it works for most of the time and therefore in this tutorial I call this how to make use of RSI effectively and a divergent indicator is one of the best way to trade the RSI indicator okay so Basically, as a whole, the RSI indicator is very useful. It can tell us overbought, oversold. It can be used as an entry indicator on a range strategy as well as a trend strategy. And more importantly, it can be used in a divergent. Okay, and for more strategy, right, as well as uh, Forex indicator tips, you can just visit my blog at forexindicator.org. And this is actually where I share with you guys uh, my trading knowledge. Actually, I share with you the, the trading indicators that I'm using and how I use them. Okay, and this part here, actually, uh, I share with you the tutorial, the strategy that I'm using so that you guys can actually try using it to see if it's effective. And this, with, with more people coming to this website, right, I'm trying to make this into a community for traders. And therefore, right, I come with, I make up this uh, pool where I ask, I change question every month so that you guys have better understanding of, understanding of what fellow traders are experiencing. Okay, and most importantly, it comes with a Forex FAQ. And this part is where I answer the questions of my newsletter subscriber, okay, twice a week, okay. And uh, actually, to be a subscriber is very easy. Just join my free forex trader newsletter here, okay. Currently, there's six thousand over subscribers, and once you're a subscriber, you can actually ask me questions every month, and I try to answer them, okay, twice a month, uh, twice a week, basically, okay. So I hope that you guys right enjoy this video tutorial that I've done for you, and for more video tutorial, you can actually visit my blog, and I'll talk to you soon.